All right, good morning again. We're going to get started now with our .CMS 1.9 preview webinar here. So we're going to kind of not be able to look at everything here this morning, just give an overview of what we're going to go over. We're going to talk about some of the different uh, UI changes, some of the functional changes, some of the new features, new additions, some of the under the covers or under the hood changes about 1.9. I want to try to open those up to you and, and, and just share with you, you know, what do they mean for you? How could you use them in your organization, whether it be university or corporate entity? What do these changes mean for you? How are they going to benefit your life and make all of our lives easier? So let's get started. So I'm assuming you guys should all be looking now at my screen. We see here the .CMS website, but let's just jump right in here to the new back end and you can see right away we have new login screen so not sure how many of you guys have seen this yet or not but here is as you go to as always to log in the .cms you go to slash c you're going to get redirected here to our new login screen we're going to log in at the test user who much like the demo site in in our previous versions the test user at this point is the administrator and can do whatever. As you could see right off the bat, <clears throat> lots of UI changes. Browser's a lot nicer. Uh, you can drag this guy over. And just the overall look and feel of the browser's nicer. It's very responsive, as you can see here, much more so uh, than, than it used to be. We still have your your kind of typical things that you'd expect here, your show archives. Some of the stuff that you're looking at here will get some additional improvements. Certainly not everything is done. Uh, I do want to preface that what we're looking at is uh, kind of an alpha build still of 1.9. We are feature complete in 1.9. Uh, so in that respect, I guess you could consider it a beta. What we mean by feature complete is we're not adding any new stuff to the code. What we're doing over the next few months is hardening the code, bug fixing the code. We're aware of many, many, many issues in there. There's been huge, huge changes. Uh, so we're spending quite a bit of time here uh, for the next uh, eight weeks, 12 weeks or so. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. but. Uh, we're going to spend these next two or three months testing out the code, fixing bugs, hardening the code. But as far as the 1.9 release is concerned, it is feature complete. So just a couple things to note here about the UI. Again, we looked at the browser already. Here you can see you kind of got this little crumb trail. A lot of the portal uh, kind of specification stuff that was left over here in the upper corner is all gone away. Now there's there's a link right here for getting help and support. The logout link, uh, your tabs here have changed. If you notice, let me just kind of shrink in our tabs. Notice here how the tabs just shrink up. Kind of a nice effect there as you get more tabs or less tabs. Kind of just tries to accommodate you to where you're at. Uh, you can see the drop downs are still here, cleaned up a bit. We got all the, you know, the icon, a lot of the icon set has been redone. We can click on a couple of the other screens here. I'll show them off. Here is the content screen also, a little bit prettified and beautified from where it used to be. Got the structure screen. Many of the screens that you're used to, a lot of the pagination works different. You can also see now there's a very consistent look across the site you know we always have these little buttons up here you add a relationship add a new structure uh, you always have these little filters here yeah, as you can see here there's still some improvement here we got little things that need to be nudged around as far as spacing and layout but for the most part you get the idea of what we're doing this we're going to look at later one of our report things our new form builder I meant uh, here in the products and again some stuff here still needs to be done but overall, UI has greatly, greatly got improved. I mean, it is a full, full redo of the UI. Now, a couple technical notes, and I'm going to kind of try to jump between the technical and the non, uh, kind of non-technical because we got a wide variety here. But for those that are wondering, we actually have uh, 
we've updated the UI to use Dojo. So under the covers are our JavaScript, what we're using for all of like our little filters here as you as you type and we have little Ajax guides. All of our widget set in the back end has for the most part been converted to use Dojo. So it's standardized. Uh, another really big piece, one of the reasons we selected Dojo, and this is kind of cool, was it, it allowed us to internationalize our back end and the by that, you've always been able to run multilingual and uh, multilingual sites on the front end, but the back end has always been kind of a problem here. Uh, our back end was, wasn't real, f you kind of had to get in, change code, or, you know, you kind of had to dig through our underneath code to change the language. Now, people have contributed us basically just text files and through these text files you can you can provide a new language to the back end and it's a great place where you know maybe some of you guys that are even here right now can contribute uh, just to give you an idea we already have Spanish we've had con people contribute German and Bulgarian and Russian we're working on these three they've they've come from the community we certainly would love to get other files but uh, essentially it's as easy as a text file or a couple text files, you open them up and you translate those text files and you, you can have the .cms at that point in another language. Very, very cool. It's kind of a big thing as .cms seeks to grow and certainly grow worldwide uh, as, as well, you know, as well as here uh, as domestically within the states. There's a couple other UI things to make note of here if we add a piece of content and this screen has not fully been done yet it's still getting quite a bit of touch up but if you notice in the .cms anywhere where you have the text area editor now we we now have a guy that's kind of color coded you can see here he cut he syntax coloring my div it's it highlights it counts so in this respect you get a few little tools tool set up here the text it's nicer than just your plain old text area that we used to have and uh, again this screen still kind of getting worked on and beautified but definitely uh, improve over where uh, I, I think pretty big improvements from where we were where we were coming from while we're on the content screen here let me make a couple notes about some of the changes and alterations that we've made to content well for one, we've changed the way that you query for content. Now, the, the search itself and the search manager still runs the same. For example, we can go here to our title. We can type blog and we can type search. And you notice it's search just as we'd expect. Now, we used to have kind of the show query down here, and it was kind of a hidden little thing. It's more built now up here. And you can see when pulling macros, and it gives you still that copy and paste of the pull content, which is real nice. It, it you didn't used to give you the full copy and paste of the macro itself. You do get that now, which is handy. But notice a few things here. For one, we have structure name and then web page content. Well, in the past, this used to say structure inode colon, and then you'd have to go look up the inode of the actual structure. In addition to that, we used to say things like then plus text one colon blog. Remember, I searched for blog here in the title. The title is could have been indexed as text one or text two, things of that nature. Now, basically, we have a, uh, a velocity variable name for the structure, web page content. That's the same thing here, structure name, web page content. And you basically just say web page content dot the, the the velocity name for the, the variable name for the field, and then colon blog. So this gives you a way where you can read the query, it makes sense. You know, it used to be structured in inode colon 1234 space plus text 1 colon, you know, in this case, blog, when you were searching for blog. And this is much, much nicer much easier to read coming out of it and obviously as you learn your structures and your names it, it's just the syntax that I, I think makes a whole lot more sense than where we used to be 